And for more on this issue, we're joined by Dr. Alana Stockman, Vice Chair of Media and Public Relations, Democrats Abroad Israel. Uh, thanks for joining. I want to ask you about this very partisan election process, as was the case with uh, the former judge that was elected, Brett Kavanaugh. What are your concerns as a Democrat uh, regarding this nomination? Um, just as a reminder, when Ruth Bader Ginsburg was confirmed in the 90s, she was voted in with 96, 96 votes. 96 out of the 100 senators voted for her. That was a vote based on judicial qualifications, on the quality of the representative. Here, this has nothing to do with the candidate at all. I mean, we're talking about a process in which the senators announced before they even knew who the nominee was going to be. They announced how they were going to be voting, and it was 100 percent on party lines. So this entire vote is a little bit of a farce. I mean, it's a farce. It's not really about her at all. It's all about this Republican power grab, which is particularly significant considering how little the Republicans are doing for actual Americans. I mean, Americans on a whole are, have been waiting for the Senate to do its job when it comes to things that matter right this second, like corona relief. They're, you know, they're suffering over 200 thousand people have died from corona you have millions of unemployed and the senate is just sitting on its hands about this but you know they're ramming this nomination process through which is a very clear indication that this really you know has nothing to do with uh, the nominees qualifications and it's all about this republican power you're saying that amy amy coney barrett is the not qualified for the position who knows if she's qualified? First of all, she's only been on, on the bench for a couple of years, so she doesn't even have that much of a record to even go on. But it's irrelevant. She's she's a symbol. You know, she's just a she, she's a puppet that they're they're putting in based on her political leanings, not based on her judicial judicial qualifications. It has nothing to do with her judicial qualifications. It has to do with partisan politics. This is a clear, it's a blatant. But there is a they, they are allowed to to do this process. I mean, the Senate is voting on it. It's a perfectly legal process, and it looks like the Democrats are really trying to uh, prevent uh, this uh, nomination, saying that the vote should take place after the elections. But really, as far as the law is concerned, surely uh, this is something that they are allowed to do under the law, no? I mean, Lindsey Graham in 2016 said he would never do this, that it was 280 days before an election and therefore they couldn't they, they couldn't vote on Merrick Garland. That was 280 days before. Now we are smack in the middle of an election. Six million Americans have already voted. You're talking about voting that is taking place right now. We are literally, literally in the middle but again, there, ha there have been former nominations that have taken place before elections in American history. Uh, you may think it's uh, something that shouldn't be done, according to you, but at least legally, according to the law, is there a legal detriment for this nomination? At the very least, it is terrible optics for a country that has been waiting for the Senate to do its job on things that matter, and they're doing this, which is all about power. It is 100% about power, and they're, they're ramming it through, ramming, ramming, ramming. That is the Republican way. So whether you know it's technically, technically, uh, you know, legal, it's and it's and it's certainly hypocritical. You know, Lizzie Graham had literally said, "If you, if if we ever do this in the other direction, quote me on this." You know, he said he would never do it, never do it. So, you know, it just shows you that the Republican Party has zero morality. You know, it's a, it's a, it's it's a, it's a it's a party that's all about show. We have a we have a president who is a reality television star who conducts his rallies like he's in some kind of wrestling match that wants to do his big Superman thing. It's all a show. Everything the Republicans doing is a show. It's a massive con. You know, it has nothing to do with 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 what people need, what people want. It has nothing to do with the government doing its job. Well, well whether out. whether that is true, we'll find out uh, after the elections. The people will uh, make their decision. November 3rd. Uh, thank you very much, Alana Stockman, for uh, that analysis. And uh, that's